Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra and today I want to show you my progress on uh, finding a color scheme for my Elder. Well, uh, in my last video about my Elder Force I thought I would want to have them painted in Beale Tan colors, but uh, well, I'll, I'll explain later. Well, uh, you all know this little fella here. This was from an old tutorial. Um, but I thought, no, I really don't want to have an army in this color scheme, so I scrapped that. Then I took uh, a Snap Fit Elder Guardian and uh, made several color tests. Uh, so this here was uh, painted at least three times, I believe, uh, <clears throat> over. So uh, I first tried an Yandan color scheme, then I tried something with orange and. Uh, well, finally, you see, uh, he ended up in green, and, uh, well, I wasn't pleased at all. So, then I tried on a metal model, the green again with a more, um, well, m my version of uh, painting with uh, lots of washes and uh, color fadings. Um, I like the green color, but, um, unfortunately, I decided this would be way too long to uh, paint a whole army in this uh, scheme, so I scrapped that also. Then I thought, hmm, the color scheme from uh, Sim Han looks nice, but I don't want um, this Wild Rider stuff. I don't want to have uh, to field lots of jet bikes. And, um, well, then I thought uh, maybe I could create my own uh, craft world. <clears throat> so this was then another test model and um, first I uh, used blue as a contrast color and um, well <clears throat> then I thought the um, highlights here are a little bit uh, too extreme and um, I scrapped that also and then I uh, used an old Starquest Elder for uh, my last color test and voila, this is now the color scheme that I'm going for with my Elder. And here I present to you uh, now my craft world. It is called Hell Yanti. Um, this is supposed to uh, <coughs> be uh, in the Elder language uh, those uh, who are hiding from the sun. Um, the story about uh, this craft world is. Um, it just recently reappeared, um, not out of the uh, chaos, out of the warp, like um, Altanzar, I believe it was this craft world called. No, <coughs> this uh, craft world, Helianti, um, actually disappeared 10,000 years ago and now reappeared. And uh, the way they did it was uh, they shifted the face of their whole craft world out of this ex existing uh, plane and uh, shifted their them into another dimension. So, um, well, and they're living out of the face uh, for almost 10,000 years now. But uh, unfortunately, this um, face shifting uh, had a lot of side effects. And one of the side effects is that uh, the Elder from uh, Helianti are sterile, so they can't have children anymore. And um, <clears throat> so they're also a dying race like uh, all the other Elder, but uh, even more now. And uh, they have found a, a way to uh, go around this by using their soul stones. Um, I have read a, a story about um, an Elder Fars here and how he um, took the body of a uh, human instead of uh, uh, his own body when he was uh, slain. And uh, also there's the story about the Phoenix uh, Lords who uh, embodies then the, um, well, control the bodies of the uh, ones that wear the army of the, uh, the armor of the Phoenix Lord. So uh, the way that these uh, Elder from Helianti uh, <coughs> are keeping in this uh, existence is quite simple. They use cloning. 
they uh, will clone their own bodies uh, like uh, mindless shells and then uh, when they actually die they uh, place the um, the soul stone on the body of the um, of the clone and then they uh, inhabit their new body but um, this process went good for almost 10,000 years but well the cloning process uh, of repeatedly cloning 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 and uh, making a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy uh, well there are some phages in the gen genome of uh, these elder and uh, the bodies of these uh, clone elder um, have only now a lifespan of about one year and so they absolutely need fresh gene material and well these are now elder hunters yes they think uh, they are the purest of all elder because they had never any had never they never had any contact to uh, any chaos and they think that their souls uh, are the purest of all and now they are hunting other elder for their uh, gene seed so called uh, to clone their bodies and uh, re-embody them in new bodies so that's uh, about the story about them so I can uh, well <coughs> fight also against other elder and obviously they will uh, fight every other Xenos race chaos uh, and humans and uh, try to reclaim their uh, maiden worlds so I hope you liked uh, this little in view about my uh, new craft world and the uh, color scheme test models here and uh, well we see us uh, then in the next video when I will show you how to paint the Helianti Eldar. See you, your Alexandra.